Hey guys! I bought a new handguard for Sprinkles, my AR-15 that I've shown in many videos, and I am really excited about this because it is going to fit my small hands a lot better and it will also lighten my setup quite a bit. It's a Navesky NSR handguard, which is made in the USA, and NSR stands for Navesky Skinny Rail. It is Navesky's newest rail that was shown at the 2012 SHOT Show and I think it's the narrowest and lightest free-floating handguard available from anywhere right now at least far as I'm aware. I got the 9 inch version because my AR has a mid-length gas system and it costs $255 for this length but they do also have several other lengths that you can get. I previously was using this two-piece Midwest Industries drop-in handguard on my rifle, which has worked great for me for the past year and a half or so, but it always felt a little too wide for my hands, especially with my Magpul XTM panels pushing the width out even more. Um, as you can see here, without any panels, on either of them, the NSR is a lot narrower. The NSR is actually 1.48 inches wide, whereas the Midwest Industries rail is 2.3 inches wide. Also, I will go ahead and weigh both of them for you here without any panels or accessories on them. Just the bare rails. The Midwest Industries handguard is 9.7 ounces and the NSR is only 5.6 ounces. So it's a little over 4 ounces lighter, which is great. Also this is the barrel nut that came with the NSR and it weighs 3.3 ounces. The Midwest Industries rail that I've been using is a quad rail. So it has four Picatinny rails, one on each side, whereas the Navesky has one continuous rail along the top. And then it's got this new key mod system on the sides and the bottom. This key mod system has keyhole shaped holes for mounting Navesky NSR panels and hand stops, QD sockets, and key mod rail sections. And I really think that it's nice with this new key mod system. You can put rails only where you want them instead of having the added weight and width of rails you don't need. This is Navesky's NSR polymer panel set. I haven't opened this one yet because I got it for spare parts, but this is the actual contents of a set. It includes a couple different lengths of panels and also both a front and rear hand stop. I have noticed that all of the texture on these is surprisingly aggressive and rough and it looks really cool too, kind of like shattered glass. You can see that hopefully. You can't buy any of these panels or hand stops separately but the whole set is only 12 bucks and they've got three different color options you can get. They've got black, foliage green, and flat dark earth. I got black because they don't make OD green yet, but they come out with that. I'll definitely get that color. All of these panels and hand stops install by just snapping them right into the key mod slots on the NSR. So as you can see, they don't have screws and they also don't use rail sections to attach onto. I do want to point out though that some of them do have a locking part so be sure to read the instructions. This one here has a locking part, whereas this one here does not. And the instructions on the back of the package do say to slide the non-locking sections on first, starting from the front and working your way towards the rear. So I have a feeling that will be very important as I'm going to install these. On my previous Midwest Industries rail, I used a couple of these gear sector hand stops and as you can see they've got a screw and they attach onto a rail section. One of these from gear sector weighs 
one ounce and one of the polymer hand stops from Nevesky weighs 0.2 ounces and then the bigger rear hand stop weighs 0.3 ounces so it'll be really nice to have that weight reduction in addition to the lighter rail. Here I've put rail panels on two sides of each handguard. I've put the Magpul XTMs on the Midwest Industries and the Nevesky polymer panels on the NSR and even with the panels on you can see that the NSR is still quite a bit narrower. This is one of Nebesky's NSR QD swivel mounts for 18 bucks, and it has anti-rotation limiters on the inside to keep your QD swivel from spinning. It does use two screws to attach to the key mod system, but they tighten from the outside and don't require backing plates, so they're actually very easy to install. Now for additional rails to attach accessories onto, Nevesky does sell 5 and 9 slot rail sections specifically for this key mod system and they're also very easy to put on. I don't have any yet to show you, but they actually use the same outside screw tightening system as the QD swivel mount, so they also don't require backing plates. And the NSR does also work with Magpul MOE Picatinny rail sections, although those do require backing plates to install. Aside from being lighter and narrower, I also really like the look of this forend. I don't know if you can see, but it has pretty aggressive anodizing, which looks really nice. It is going to be a bit complicated to install onto my rifle since my battle comp muzzle brake is permanently attached to my barrel. So I am going to have this installed professionally and I will get back with you guys soon. As you can see, I got the NSR installed onto my AR and I just love it. It is lighter and I can actually wrap my thumb around the top of the rail and get a better grip on it. So it's easier for me to control now. I put Nevesky's NSR panels and hand stops on it, which were a little difficult for me to install at first. There are actually slots, which I'll show you here, on the sides of the key mod lugs on the panels and you have to press down really hard on the panels to catch the slots on the rail as you slide them forward. I actually had to tap a couple of the locking panels on with a rubber mallet while pressing really hard on the front of the panel at the same time. And definitely make sure you know where you want your panels before you actually put them on because they're a little hard to remove. To remove, you lift up on this indentation here on the locking panel right there. And I don't have my Surefire Mini Scout flashlight back on my AR yet because my Gear Sector Scout mount won't slide on to the top of this NSR rail. I have the older style of Scout mount which has to be slid onto the rail and it stops when it hits the NSR rail right here 
because the bottom of the rail hangs down a little bit lower and it catches on the mount. So I've ordered the updated gear sector mount, which is a two piece clamp on, which should work. And then I'll put my light back on. Also, my NSR came with a little anti-rotation pin that you can install if you want to by having a hole drilled into your upper. I didn't have that installed on mine, but I may at some point. Also, Navesky sells rifles and uppers with this NSR rail already on them. And their website, NaveskyRifleWorks.com, has more info on all of those along with their panels and accessories. My AR currently weighs 7 pounds, 2 ounces, unloaded with no magazine, and that does include the flashlight and the optic. So that is 8 ounces lighter than my AR was previously, so half a pound lighter, which is great. And I had a lot of fun shooting with this new setup, so I can't wait to get back to the range and do some more shooting soon. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.